something from your side? Yeah, I tested earlier. Let me okay. uh, share it again. Yeah, right. Yeah, close the, the other uh, thing. So this will be the, the IDE. This is will be the result. If you can second, see. One second, I can't see. Yeah, okay, ID. So ID, you can just, I will introduce it earlier, but then you just start the, this thing. You don't need to give any background. Yeah, and then this just mention the number of languages and the number of databases and the fact that it gets deleted in 30 days. Uh, yes, sure. So three very important factors. The plan is uh, we will go through this in the sidebar there. These are the features basically for the yeah. ID. So this will uh, and just copy and copy and paste and make one ID run if you have the time. Yeah, we, we already prepared a demo application. Okay. This is calling a uh, face match and also calling the, uh, what we call the account management from percipient mock bank. So, yeah. and then we, we can show the results. All. But this is just a, to show that it's a working ID for POC. Okay, we are starting with. So Lawrence, be on your WhatsApp also. Open your WhatsApp on the side, on your mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lawrence, quickly just tell me, can you see this? Uh... Lawrence, can you see the? Yes, I can see the epics. Okay, great. Website. No. Should I start? Hello, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the AFIM workshop. Uh, my name is Prem Ayer. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of AFIM, and um, I'm a 25 plus years um, professional in the IT industry, but uh, primarily in the banks. I worked in Deutsche and Citibank uh, in ha half of my career, or rather my, most of my career. And uh, I'm now with AFIN, uh, with a, a company which is the mother of startups, as we call ourselves. It's the catalyst for collaboration. And uh, today I'm going to go through with you a brief presentation for a couple of slides, introducing you all to the Apex platform. And then we'll jump into the, uh, the platform itself and we'll have a demo of the platform. And my colleague uh, and uh, Lawrence, he will go through um, the integrated data uh, development environment, which allows you to use Apex um, during your POCs. So without any further delay, let me jump into the, the presentation, uh, giving you a brief outlook of what we do. So Apex is basically um, supported by MAS. And uh, in the 
with a primary reason of uh, a, um, creating a collaboration platform guys to come together it was first launched in 2019 uh, during the singapore fintech festival uh, prime minister li and prime minister um, narendra modi from india uh, inaugurated this a particular platform and you can see some pictures over here of the inauguration actually happening during the SFA uh, as we move on uh, we have matured um, over a period we have become commercial and uh, now we have a large database uh, on the platform so basically uh, we have uh, our founding members which which is uh, the ASEAN Bankers Association the International Finance Corporation and MAS Uh, most of the guidance and the regulations come from MAS, so we we work under that, providing a trusted environment. Uh, our corporate founding members are AMTD and Mastercard. We have a couple of uh, strategic council members who advise us on what's happening in the industry, and you can read over here: Singapore FinTech Festival, Mastercard, Brancas, BNY Mellon, AWS, AMTD, and Experian. And these are the people who provide us industry experience, what's happening in the industry, and that's how the platform remains current and relevant to the industry. Our technology partners are Percipient and Brankas, who help us uh, in providing uh, and uh, developing the platform as we move along. Uh, we have a growing network of partners, and you can see them here, and these are just about growing on a daily basis. Uh, we, from an ASEAN kind of a uh, focus, we are now global. Uh, we did that in last year when we launched a very uh, major hackathon on the platform, becoming uh, making ourselves a global platform. Uh, we have contrib uh, we have uh, memberships from across 50 odd countries, and uh, we test this particular reach of ours every time we launch a hackathon, and we see people coming from varied. Uh, uh, geographies. Um, so the platform is a big, like I mentioned, it's a catalyst for collaboration. So uh, we understand that there are a number of difficulties that FIs and FTs have in the ecosystem. And some of them is what is shown over here. So when we look at a financial institution, which is trying to digitize and go live and is trying to, you know, get onto the uh, transformation journey, we find that they, they find it very difficult uh, to find uh, the discovery process of finding eligible partners. What is happening in the industry? What is the latest and greatest? Where do you go to look at that? So while Google is there, but uh, that's about, just about that much that Google can do. Uh, the other challenge they, of course, have is that uh, once you find somebody, how do you short, uh, shortlist them? And if you find one or two, uh, are there more? And so that's a big question mark. And then the, the point is that they struggle with that particular question. The one, uh, even after you select these fintechs or the partners that you want to do deal with, the next big problem is that where do you do the POC? And you know the technology comes back and says that you know you need to comply with a whole lot of stuff, and that's a real long drawn process which takes ages. Same way, if you look at it from the different lens, and which is the FTs, again, the long, there is a long sales cycle of trying to meet people. If you knock on a door of a bank and ask them what your problems are, you have a fantastic um, uh, solution. Whom do you go to meet in the bank? How do you get to these people? And that entire thing can take six, six to 14 months to meet the right kind of people in a, in a large bank. And even if it's a small bank, it's very difficult to really make people understand then in that bank how to uh, how to appreciate what you're doing. Then there's the next phase, which is the difficulty in the in actually productionizing. If you do have something, how do you how do you how do you bring it to production? And uh, obviously, all this has then uh, limits the market that you have have to operate in. So what we what the Apex does is short circuits all this and then. It offers you an environment uh, which can uh, which addresses both kind of people. So what do we do? We have a marketplace, and like any other marketplace, you can come here. Uh, the financial institution can come on this platform and look for fintechs who are pre providing um, solutions for 
their kind of problems that they're looking for. And the fintechs can come here and go and browse the marketplace to find out who are the FIs who have problem statements and are what listed on our platform. So like any other marketplace, we offer that. We give a plus over here and I'll tell you what the plus is in a little, in a little while. We also pro provide the platform for you to, you know, where I mentioned that it's a platform where you search each other, discover. And the discovery is done actually in two ways. And one of them is uh, going and looking at the platform, trying to find out through keywords, looking at what solutions are being provided, et cetera. And the other is the hackathon, which we will also get into. Now, after you have found somebody, how do you do, what do you do with that? So after you have found somebody either side, I mean, if a FinTech is looking for a FI to, to provide a solution, you raise your hand and you say, I can solve this and I can solve it to you and I can show it to you, but where do you show it? So we have a sandbox. So you come on our sandbox, which is free of cost. There are no regulations, there are no uh, standards that you need to uh, uh, do over here. It's compliant to the uh, TRM processes of mass do uh, POC in a very secure environment. We also have 10,000 data elements over here, which simulates a core banking. And so you could be using that data to show your solution. It also uh, gives confidence to the bank to say, okay, yeah, this is a trusted platform. And what I see is what I'll get. Uh, we have a large community, uh, which also supports like-minded people. You can be talking to similar kind of fintechs, exchanging notes. You could be looking partners on the platform at upward or downstream user journeys to be created. So if you are, let's say, looking at KYC, you could be tying up with a, a RPA or a, a, or a OCR uh, uh, fintech company to look at whether you can be meeting a, a business requirement of creating a complete journey on onboarding. So that's that's the that's the added advantage over here. Um, of course, uh, it's a portal with uh, administer grants, rights, and investments. So this is a place where uh, companies like AMTD, the SFA, etc., are providing you grants. AWS, being our partner, gives you credits if you uh, if you are a Apex member up to twenty five thousand dollars. SFA is giving grants up to forty thousand dollars if you do a piece POC on our on using Apex as the platform. And uh, to round it up, uh, we have the hackathon, uh, which I mentioned is a fast track for doing discovery by the fintechs or for the FIs, where you can put in your problem statements and you can uh, look for people to solve your problems. So having said that, uh, you know, I'll just sum it up by saying, you know, it's a platform which helps you in business development. It helps you in speedy prototyping. It gives you great brand exposure because it's a place where you know uh, big brands are coming and shopping. So that's a place where you can, you can do that. You got to hack, get your uh, solution tested. You can really show uh, what you have done. Uh, area uh, we're bringing in more and more freebies for people to get certified. We we. With Google, with Google is going to give certification. AWS provides free certifications, uh, and then there is a community for you to talk to, lies with, exchange notes with. We have 70 plus financial institutions already on the platform. We have 400 plus fintechs, and the and the membership is growing uh, by the year. Incidentally, for fintechs this year, we are giving free membership if you are a Series B and below. And we have 2,000 fintechs now waiting to onboard. Uh, so we do some due diligence and then we uh, onboard them. So if any of you are interested, please do look at Apex platform uh, after we have seen some more uh, uh, presentation on this. So we have big names over here, City, HSBC, Prudential, NSC, uh, growing all the time, Union Bank, et cetera. And we have um, you know the small and the big uh, fintechs who are already on this platform providing end-to-end -end solutions uh, or APIs, which can then be uh, hooked on for uh, stitching a story together. These are our channels of communication. And um, so you are free uh, You are at any point of time. When you have the time, you please go into this and you can look at it. Uh, last SFA, we, we launched a, a community a, a portal on known as Oxygen, which actually gives you the latest and the greatest 
speakers. We had uh, 60 plus speakers speaking last time. Uh, our panel is growing. Uh, we'll be again, we constantly keep having webinars over here and that's a place to look at. So with this, I will uh, switch. I will go back. I'll now go to the uh, Apex uh, demo and uh, you'll be able to see. So this is our landing page. Um, it's, a, it's a very simple way to get in. Uh, you can register here, or if you're a member, you can log in here. We have on this blue line below, we have got the, uh, the details of the uh, complimentary uh, uh, membership that we are giving. You can apply for the various grants. Up to $80 million of grants is available for Singapore-based companies. And ed additional benefits of, for grabs shows you uh, what AWS, et cetera, are giving. Uh, as we grow, we'll get Azure, Azure and uh, Google also probably on the platform giving membership. So member is coming here. I can use my uh, uh, SSO uh, and that's what I'll do just now. And I use it with Google. And I'm in. So once I land up on, on this particular platform, uh, we've got uh, uh, the uh, we've got the listing of the Apex and a a members over here, which are the fintechs. Uh, this is uh, randomized, so every time you log in, it changes solutions on the what are the kind of solutions solutions which are available uh, on the platform. We are making it more and more exciting uh, by providing uh, one-click solutions which will play or which will show, et cetera. And I'll show you a sample which was done recently for one of our uh, um, uh, hackathons, uh, problem statements which the banks provide, and then there are the financial institutions which are there. So this is a quick look of which is there, which is also available to people who are not non-members, who are, uh, you can have a look at this. And then is the marketplace. So if you look at the marketplace, you get more details. So here are the financial institutions. The financial institutions basically are listed with categories, lines of business, and which country they operate in. And these are relevant searches which are there because you would like to be associated with a particular bank. You may be operating in, a, in one area as a fintech and looking for banks. And so you would like to concentrate in the banks within the region. Uh, let's look at uh, something which is, uh, let's look at, look for one bank, uh, my previous employer, Citibank. Let me look at what we have over here. We come here, we look at Citibank. This is the local entity of Citibank, which has posted or become a member right now. And uh, they've got nine problem statements, which we are they're showing. So let's, uh, let's click on one. And now we can see the description of the, of the problem statement as in a fintech you find, okay, this is a payments uh, uh, problem. You are in the payment space and you want to talk to them or you want to say that, okay, I can solve for you, Q. So here is a, here is a, um, a, a communication uh, channel. You can write over here. You can put your link of your organization. You can show them a PPT uh, and upload it and post your comments. Uh, from a FinTech, from a FI point of view, he. You see this bell on the right side, he gets a ping over here. He also would get a email notification uh, and to tell him that there is a message on the platform, please come and have a look at it. So he comes onto the platform and he sees this, he likes you and then he can start your conversation. There's many, uh, as we move forward, I'll show you what all we can do on that, on that journey, but this is basically how we start. So that's how uh, you as a something and uh, in the similar manner, uh, the, fin uh, the FI can be looking at fintech. So it can come over to the fintech uh, category. Uh, we have 397 fintechs over here. And like I said, we have 2,000 of them waiting to join. Um, uh, so we are growing. And uh, you could be looking for anything that you want. Uh, let's say the hottest and the greatest is KYC. So we look at KYC and we can see that there are 25 people uh, over here. Uh, let me look at another category and let me see something within KYC is fraud. And let me see if there are people on fraud. Yes, so we have fraud. I, I like, uh, I want to see what Hyperverge is all about. I click into onto Hyperverge. I see the organization information. I can see over here that they're okay, they're working in these particular areas. 
countries. Why the country is important is because you may be, um, you would like to have some fintech who's represented in your country or at least a nearby country so that uh, you know you you understand that they will be able to give you support. From a fintech's point of view, organization tags, et cetera, are given, which helps in the search. There is a pitch to customer, uh, which is the fintech is putting in here. Product details, if you want to put in your product details, fine. This person is not put in. Uh, if you the more, It's like a LinkedIn thing. The more details you provide about your profile, the better the search is and the better your visibility is. And the better the um, ease of um, the FI who's looking at it on trying to or wanting to uh, touch base with you. Uh, needless to say on that is exactly what uh, what uh, uh, the LinkedIn profile does for any do individual, for instance. So here is a face match and they've got they've got three APIs. One of them is face match, uh, easiest to recognize and to understand. So uh, we, um, we are interested in it. I'm interested in doing, let's say, a fraud uh, detection. Uh, and I want to put this into my user journey of while I'm onboarding customers. So uh, it's got one endpoint. Uh, I see this as green and a tick mark. What is this? This basically every day our platform is running a check the endpoints are working, which means is the backend working or not. Um, the subscribers, are seven of them have subscribed. I get into this and I want to read what is this F, uh, API all about. So I read about it, the description, I can get into some uh, details over here and I can read what are the instructions on how to run it, agreements, so there is no software agreement required. And I also get what are some more APIs on the platform uh, which are on uh, of the similar kind. So right now I'm interested, this, this seems interesting, so I would like to try it out. So I have, uh, so what I do is uh, once I say that I want to try it out, uh, this is a standard Swagger 2.0 uh, format, which has been used for you know updating uh, the API. I look over here, I say try it out, I choose a file, I've got something kept at the back. Um, let me just go and look at it. I've got this photograph. It's a face match, so I need to give a photograph. And then I need to give some ID with which I can uh, match this. So this, if you see this gentleman's face uh, is when he was, when he had probably come here. Uh, now there is a difference. So we look at it and then we say that it's an ID. This particular fintech, while onboarding, he's 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 mentioned that he wants to have additional security, so we should be able to go, and he will allow us to use this um, API only if we get a, a specific key from him. So there's an app ID and an app key required. I've already acquired it from him, so let me go onto the this thing and pick this up. So I will copy and I'll paste it. And there is an app key, which also I need to go and pick it up. And I copy it. And it's pasted over here. Now, the Apex platform is also providing a authorization uh, for security. So if the other person doesn't have an app ID, we still have a, a authorization key, which is being used by the host. So we copy this and we paste it out here and we execute. So it's loading and it has executed. So let's go and look at the results. So the response is 200, which means it worked. And we look at it, the count is 99, the match is yes. Match score is also 99 and to be reviewed, it says no. And so this is a good match so that's how it is you can download it for reference and so now as a fint as a fi i'm convinced that yeah wow this is a good guy and i was able to put a i was able to put a picture and he has been able to do it i can do some negative testing by putting another picture and it should show some results uh, but i'm convinced now that this this is a good good fintech that i want to uh, try and talk to them so I ping him and the, the fintech can come and talk to me. And uh, then the fintech needs to provide now 
do something more. So what the FI would re really want, it will say, okay, I'm going to give you a data of, let's say, 200, uh, 200 uh, test cases uh, with pictures and with IDs, and I want you to show it. And you need to come, uh, you need to show me a POC. So what do you do now? So in a usual circumstances, if there was no Apex, you would have to run around, uh, go to their technology. The technology will give you a half a meter, half a meter, uh, 200 point checklist to say, comply with this and come back. And that will take you six months to comply. So what we have done is to shortcut that, we have provided you a sandbox over here. So if you're a member over here, you get authorized to create IDs and you can, this is a secure ID where uh, nobody else gets access to it. It's created in your name kept for 30 days and destroyed when you uh, when you don't want to use, uh, when you're finished with this. Okay, of course, in 30 days time, it will auto destroy. So uh, no code is kept here. The, the platform itself is just a pass through. So it does not keep your APIs. It's just, a, it just, it uses it, uh, Apex is used as a pass through. So uh, nothing is used over here. I won't go too much into it because this is what Lawrence will get into. Uh, I'll just show it to you over here that you know the Apex face match is, is already available and we can be using it on the ID and that's what uh, uh, Lawrence uh, will go through. Uh, let me just complete my demo so that on the platform so we can then later come back on, uh, on the on the uh, on the ID usage. So that's how the ID is used. So now the journey is complete. So somebody, if I came here, discovered you and uh, looked at your API, and so therefore your API should be working on the platform, liked your profile, and now he has called you to do a POC. Uh, and the POC, like I said, is free of cost. If you're applying for a SFA or some, some grant like that, we have tied up with them. You can just show the screenshot over here uh, to say that your, you know, your POC was successful and you will get, uh, you can apply for up to $40,000 of grant for doing the POC. So it's as simple. Um, the platform, of course, has a community module, training materials, and FAQs on who can use this. And now, our, uh, so this was one kind of uh, discovery process. The other our hackathon. The hackathon is our marquee project. has been doing fantastically well. Uh, basically, it, uh, it, uh, it uh, leverages all, everything that we have on the platform uh, by providing you a hackathon, which is completely administration is workflow driven. Um, uh, it's on the cloud. We saw the ID, which is on the cloud. Uh, you can publish demo applications here. Uh, you can do automated solution submit. So the entire process is automated uh, and, and the, there is a, a logical path to it. So you apply for a hackathon, you come in, give your proposals, which are written documents, PPTs, videos, etc., showing your solution after you get shortlisted which is the solution building, you come onto the platform, build your solution and take it forward. Okay, uh, there is an online judging tool which the hackathon administrator uses to evaluate your um, uh, proposals and your solutions and the result comes out. Uh, and of course, the it is the hackathon is, you're using the sandbox on the this thing. So our latest one is the NPCI challenge. This is a payment gateway in India doing $4 billion uh, uh, transactions in a in a month. They wanted to go for a hackathon, so they posted it here. It was launched on. So this is the path. Registration launched in Feb. Submit proposals, which is the written document. They shortlisted. The solution submissions have happened. Uh, they have shortlisted people. Now they are uh, in the process of uh, looking at it them, and then they will come back with this uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, um, winners. Um, this is how they introduce their company, they provide the problem statements and then the prizes which are there to, for you to win. So if you're a member here or non-member, you can still apply for a, for the, uh, for the, for hackathons. Eligibility, FAQs, who can apply, how, etc. And then there are contact numbers. So this is our, um, something which is very, very popular. As a matter of fact, I'd like to show you uh, another one where uh, it was, this was not, uh, this particular bank, it's a South African digital bank. Uh, they wanted to launch in ASEAN. So they came and had a uh, this thing, um, hackathon done. They launched it actually uh, last year in the SFA. And in one month's time, they were had, they had actually, they were looking for partners with four challenges over here. 
to to uh, work with them the the price was that they will become their partners when they launch in the asean region and, and so they were able to find three vendors uh, three partners three fintechs with whom they did the business uh, signed up who won this challenge and uh, they started working on the integration and in february when they got the license they were live and kicking uh, in philippines with a digital bank so that's how practically the platform is used for uh, both the fintechs to come on to the on, on board and be able to utilize it and for uh, the uh, for the uh, uh, you know the fi's to be able to uh, leverage the platform uh, to be able to use it i want to quickly uh, shift and uh, change gears over here and again show you the last portion of this which is i like to show you a brief uh, uh, demo of uh, the latest hackathon we we had where the uh, it's very well it's a small short video about how uh, the fintech has been able to use this is the, a demo video of the mincaso pay biometric authentication solution for upi payments the code for the demo has been deployed on the apex platform on the left hand side you see an overview of the architecture of the solution first let's take a look at the experience on android here is a sample upi app implemented on android first we select uh, the payment details next we click on pay for the first time transaction we need to enter the upi pin the enable biometric to pay checkbox has already been checked the user then enters their fingerprint to confirm the transaction completes successfully now let's take a look at the so what we are, i wanted to just briefly show you is this is how the platform is used this is how the judges then look at the problem statement and on the left hand side you see the screen happening on the right hand side you see the code actually playing out and this gives a lot of confidence to the judges to say Yep, this is not vaporware. This is something which can be taken tomorrow and actually be deployed into production. And so, if you remember the cyclic advantages that we showed, this is something which takes you to production very, very quickly after having used the ID. ID supports 30 odd languages, 20, 15 odd databases. Uh, you can bring your code through the GitHub, which is what Lawrence will show right now, and that is how the platform is used. So those those are a, in a uh, in a, uh, in in uh, how the platform is used i've got one more thing to show before i hand it over to lawrence to do this is how a digital bank is technically made live on the platform by using various uh, fintechs which are there and are part of the mem uh, uh, members of the bank so this is if you see mambu is the core bank uh, you want to bring in the customer engagement which is used by active ai credit scoring is by trusted global you have the cards being provided by the MasterCard APIs, cyber screening being done by Upsala Securities, Digital ID by Data Informix, Remit Online by Remit Online, and Visor, uh, which is uh, which is a regulatory reporting company doing the regulatory reporting. So these user journeys getting integrated on the ID, um, uh, making to stand up a complete core, uh, complete bank banking experience on the apex platform so that uh, brings me to the end of the uh, presentation that i have to show you the platform and now i will hand it over to uh, lawrence who will show you the id and then we lawrence all yours hi good afternoon everyone that's joining the workshop sessions uh, please let me introduce myself i'm lawrence uh, Lawrence Cisco Sassi, uh, basically I'm from Brancas. We are partnering with Evin to build the Epix platform. Uh, in this uh, particular workshop, I would like to uh, get everyone to uh, understand about one of the features that we provided for Epix platform and can be used for, for every, essentially every members of Epix. Uh, I'll try to share my screen. Uh, okay, if you... Yeah, so this is, uh, as mentioned earlier by uh, Prem, that IDE is, uh, is a secure sandbox 
the integrated development environment provided out of the box for every Epix member. Within the IDE, you can do basically to the intended audience for the IDE is a, a technical team uh, that have a knowledge for background for programming or system development uh, in using various or multiple programming language. The IDE itself out of the box uh, supporting major uh, programming language, not GS, C++, uh, Golang, but you can also, of course, uh, out of the box is com comes with a kind of a small Linux box, basically. So you can install uh, any dependency or any other package for programming language as you are as you are playing around with the IDE itself. Okay. Uh, basically, the IDE itself is pretty similar with uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, one of the common tools used within the programming community. It, it can provide a file editor, it's also already include a repository, which is you can use a GitHub or maybe sub version if it's an old uh, system. Those is uh, available there for you to use. The other things that we have is also include uh, extension for a local browser preview, a plugin to the SQL database that is hosted on public profile so you can using this you can basically uh, configure the connection to for example you, your AWS Redshift or your SQL Azure or MariaDB or Postgre that hosted in public because each of these IDE uh, as mentioned earlier is a secure instance well, each of members each of user have their own instance and it's not being shared amongst other members so you can uh, put your uh, public configuration even uh, we as the operator or the platform owner will not be able to see this uh, configuration the other uh, features uh, of course why we need to have this id is within this IDE, uh, as part of the apex platform we also pro apex platform also provide a, a community-based API, meaning um, APIs that has been uh, shared publicly by other members. And this IDE is uh, one of the way for you to, to try out those APIs from a technical point of view, meaning you create a application or system and then test those APIs. And also you can also do a POC on this ID to showcase to other members. In this session, uh, basically we have prepared one uh, sample kind of a POC that you can do using this ID. In this example, uh, the, the sample that we provide currently using Node.js, but the same is also applicable to any other programming languages that we have. Uh, it's a pretty simple and similar with the uh, Prime have uh, demoed earlier, which is we will do some uh, verification using one of the API that already uh, published by other Apex member, a FastMatch API. Uh, previously, it's using a UI or a functional test, we can say. Right now, we are want to use it. Is Are these APIs uh, usable in the system level. This is the intent, intended uh, use of IDE. So we have prepared some uh, images that we have uploaded to, into the IDE. You can upload an image into the IDE or any other data just by drag and drop from your local computer. This is also the dummy ID that we will use for the data. So we have a a logo or an image that not a face image. The second is a ID with a face. So yeah. 
First of all, it's similar with the Visual Studio Code. You can also run your application within the IDE itself. It comes with a terminal, fully functional Linux terminal. Of course, with a limited specification of hardware and uh, CPUs, memory, so on and so forth. But if there is any specific requirement, I think uh, Prime is the best person to call to be contact in this case. Yeah. Without further ado, this is I will try to run this demo application. Uh, basically, it will call the API for fetch match using the data image data that provided uh, ICO earlier. And then we will based on the response from FastMatch API. The second step is we, if the response is success, uh, we will just uh, use another different, another API by another Epix member. In this case is a, a account opening uh, API. If the response is a failure on the fail to FastMatch the ID, then it will just uh, showing a stop. It's not uh, proceeding to to the next stage. Yeah. So I started the application. You first you can pass it uh, locally within the IDE. You see, uh, this is the we are saying that we are starting the account KYC at time, certain time. We try to call the fast match API. This is the the that going through the Epic's platform gateway. Uh, yeah, and the response that we get that we got from the fast match API is uh, 400. The error message is face is not detected in one or more images, so it's a failure. So this is a we we can test that yes using a system or programming language any other programming language we can we can call the API directly not only from uh, UI. I will stop the application. Uh, we will use the different images at this moment to make it work. Now I'm starting again the application and then I do another uh, test to call this system. Yeah, right now, uh, as we call the fast match API with the proper information of proper data, the response given by the API is 200, uh, which is meaning a success. And then they have a result a request ID here. The result is Yes, it matches uh, one hundred percent. Yeah, and then with all of this data information that we have, we pass. We can uh, push through uh, certain information again to another APIs provided by, uh, that host that has been published by the members into Epic's platform. In this case, a uh, create customer, and then uh, based on their API response, it have a success response, meaning the customer has been created on the other API. So with this uh, IDE, we can uh, basically uh, mix and match or maybe uh, do some testing or create some kind of uh, use cases that you think, uh, yeah, using a API, public API provided by a company and combined with uh, another public API from another B company, we can build some kind of a, a workflow or use cases. So this is the intention of the IDE. Uh, another feature is, yeah, all of this will not, uh, it will be not very useful if it only can be seen locally. So uh, the IDE itself also have the, uh, basically we expose 
these services that you build on your ID that running on ID instance for your uh, account. These services, if you there is a catch here, uh, if you want to make it public available to public, you need to map uh, to the port certain port in in the IDE itself, which is uh, forty two thousand. All of this uh, technical information is provided in the readme guide out of the box. So this is in the local post. If you see the same uh, services that we created in our, internally in our local, also available for you as a public. And then you can share it to, to maybe to other members case or any to other financial institution that Hey, uh, I have uh, provided a POC. We can call. I can call. I'm collaborating with this company to solve your problem. That is the intention of this whole uh, IDE and sandbox environment. So each of the member will have uh, their own dom subdomain. Uh, in this case, this is our testing account on productions. Uh, Laurentius FT Live at Brancas. And depending on your email address, uh, you will be able to, first is you need to make sure you have run your uh, services and then you can just hit and execute. So here again, uh, we are starting uh, the same uh, KYC process, calling a fast match API. Oh, let me zoom in for people to see. Yeah, let me repeat again. So yeah, this is uh, this is you as a Epic's member calling the solution from a public without uh, even accessing the IDE, with a condition that you have uh, make the services or the system that you built in the IDE map to certain technical requirements, and also it is currently running. So if it's currently running. You can see here, uh, this is the process, uh, starting account KYC from our demo earlier. First step is it will call a FastMatch API. Uh, these are the response from FastMatch API. And if the response is success, then we will continue proceed with the account opening API provided by other uh, uh, API provider within the platform itself. Yeah. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty much cover all of the uh, IDE features and capabilities. Uh, if there is any questions or inquiries, we are happy to answer those questions on these remaining uh, 10 minutes, probably. Yeah, back to you, Prime. Uh, you you are on mute, Prem. So that kind of um, give good comprehensive. Thank you, Lawrence, for that uh, um, very elaborate um, instructions on the ID. Um, if there are any questions, we can take them regarding the platform. Um, otherwise, I have uh, basically uh, shown you. Uh, what I demonstrated uh, in the PPT's presentations um, that the the platform actually supports you in every way to discover. The hackathon provides you the discovery to be compressed and to find number of people who can come onto the platform. And um, so that is the way uh, the collaboration is uh, fast forwarded and it can be used by uh, people, uh, either the fintechs or the financial institutions as the use case may be. Uh, I would like to um, check if there are any questions.
I guess there are no questions on the chat. Uh, we don't have a moderator here. So thank you, folks, for listening in. Um, you're free to come on to the Apex platform. The address is apexplatform.com. As simple as all that. Uh, do, do give it a visit. Um, urge your organizations to become members and take uh, advantage of this fantastic offer, which is available of being free, giving free membership for 12 months uh, as, a, as a gesture towards COVID, uh, the impacted um, business due to COVID-19. Uh, and so you, you are welcome to um, uh, join right now, take advantage of all the grants which are being provided by the governments and we wish you success. Thank you very much.